I'm really, really proud of our team. You know, the perseverance, the fight, the, the intensity that we, we displayed to dig a hole like that and then come back, just unbelievable. So, you know, it's just a credit to who we are when we're focused and ready to play. And I'm just delighted to, to coach a team like that because they could have easily just folded it up and, and went inside and, and not competed. But it's not who we are and it's not the culture of our program. And uh, when we talk about chasing greatness, that's the epitome of what it is. Coach, what was your uh, message after that first quarter? You down 14 points, you could back into it. Well, the, the, the message was, okay, we took their first punch. Now let's give them ours. Um, I think we had a better halftime message than we did at the second quarter. But um, you know, we really just wanted to just settle ourselves. I thought um, they came out more aggressive uh, in the passing lanes, uh, disrupting the things we want to do. And uh, we just need to get ourselves refocused because uh, playing a team like that, you know, that's NCAA team. You know, they went to the championship or semifinals or championship of the WNIT. You know, so um, they really have come a long way with their program, and um, we really want to just come out and compete and be able to, to, to stay around and have an opportunity to win it at the end. Uh, what about uh, your next opponent, Memphis? Talk about that. Uh, Memphis is a, a, a team that's going to play uh, multiple defenses, and um, the thing about them, they have a, a young lady on their team named Hearns who can really score the basketball. You know, she's. Uh, 2000, almost 2,000 point score. Um, they have a, a post player. Uh, her name slips my mind right now. Uh, Bree, Brianne, uh, who can score around the basket. And um, you know they're a streaky team. They went to Temple and, and and lost by 20, and they beat Wisconsin by 30. You know, so <laughs> they're a team that's going to be up and down. I feel like I started out slow, but my team was always there for me. They always had my back, and it wasn't me. I mean, it was always it's always my teammates always bringing me encouragement and telling me I can do it and, and helping me hit these big shots and just I want to do it for my team. So. Right. One rebound away from double-double. Talk about how you We really focused on it in practice, trying to get boards and second-chance points. Um, so I really focused on it as a team, and we all came together trying to get at boards. Yeah, they, I, I didn't even think they know UConn was coming until you said it. <laughs> um, it it's, it's, we got the football mentality, you know, one game a week, you know, one and no every week. So um, we're just focusing on Memphis, Memphis right now, and um, we, we'll, we'll deal with UConn after, you know, after Tuesday. Thank you.